you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In a home deployment, typically we're browsing the web, maybe streaming video, maybe we're working from home, or if we have young ones, we're doing remote learning, and we have smart home appliances and devices that are connected throughout the home. These are all perfectly valid examples of Wi-Fi usage in a home, and typically scale isn't a concern here. You will need to consider scale if you're a small to mid-sized business utilizing office space or your coffee shop or even a gymnasium where dozens of users are needing to connect to Wi-Fi resources such as streaming or maybe even VPN remote connectivity for their work. In some cases, it may be necessary to add additional APs in these environments, not necessarily to increase the AP coverage, but to spread out the client connections, making sure that the clients have a good experience. Now I know what you're thinking. Jesse, aren't most APs able to handle several hundred clients connected simultaneously? That's true, and it's why I've refrained from giving any specific number in terms of when you should add another AP to improve capacity. But think of it like this, let's say we have an AP that can support 500 clients connected simultaneously. Now let's assume that we have 400 clients connected to that AP and they're all trying to stream HD video. The client experience is going to be much different than that same AP with only 30 clients connected. However, if all 400 of those clients were only web browsing and checking email, the client experience may be acceptable. The point here is to consider how the Wi-Fi is intended to be used so that you can plan accordingly and deliver a great experience for your customers, clients, guests, or employees.